Next I'll demonstrate how to take control over the and or logic between filter criteria. To do this I'll add a filter on size and I'll say that the, the condition is that the size must be less than 50. And I want to combine this with the list price so that either the list price is greater than a thousand dollars or the size is less than 50. The default behavior here is to do a AND statement between these two, but I'm going to override that logic. What I'll do is go in, double click on size and go into the filter attributes and over on the right hand side you'll see that there are logical operators. I'm going to select all and as I've selected all you can see that now all appears just before the size and next I would like to put brackets around list price and size so that this condition is separated from the others. I'll go to list price and I'll add one bracket at the start of list price and I'll add one bracket closing on size and this will complete the, the logic that I would like to apply and of course preview the data. And now you can see that I've got a different result from before where list price is greater than a thousand dollars or the size is less than or equal to 50. Next I'll explore some of the table filter options. If I just select options on the table you can see that I can limit the number of rows that appear in the report by selecting top n rows. If I was to enter 10 in here and preview the data you will see that I bring back the first 10 rows of the report. The other option in there is to select top percentage so if I said I wanted the top 5% of the overall result set I can type in 5 come back in and preview. Next I'll show how to filter dates as dates have more options than the other data types. I'll just add date to the list and click on the lookup. By default it will come up with today's date and if I was to change one of the values and click OK you can see here that it's put in the keyword date which is resolved to today's date and for the other value it's got a constant. The format for dates doesn't necessarily have to be in this format. Any valid date format is acceptable. For this example what I'd like to do is show products that had a uh, start date from five years ago up to today's date. So I'll click on the lookup and in the years I'll select minus 5 up to today's date. You can see that on the end of the keyword date we now have minus 5y which means uh, today's date minus 5 years. If I was to select months or weeks or days you would apply that logic as well. This is important because when running reports you may not necessarily want to adjust the date range manually each time the report is run but have the filter criteria for the date be relative to today's date. I'll just preview that data. and there are no matches so I'll go back and do it six years back and now I have a match. 
just some general rules on applying cell references. If you're using tables, it's highly recommended that you always apply a name range to the value that you're referencing in the spreadsheet. If the query mode is aggregations or reference, it's not necessary that you apply a name range to the cell. If at any point you do enter in a invalid filter criteria, a error message will appear. For example, if I was to enter in the word red for a list price, I'll receive a message saying that the filter value was incorrect. And the same applies for dates and, and uh, other fields. That concludes a brief overview of photo criteria.